Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're back. I appreciate the love. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and put the notification bell on so you'll be the first to get any of my new uploads. If you're one of my old subscribers, thank you for your continual support. I don't know what I'll do without you. I appreciate you and I love you for everything that you do for me. Thank you so much. Before we start cooking, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and then hit the subscribe button okay if you haven't done so already guys please help me out it's free it doesn't cost you a thing it just shows youtube that my content are being watched and being appreciated okay so do that for me thank you for doing that today we're cooking one of my absolute favorite Bean stew, yes, I'm a sucker for bean stew. I love it. So today I'm going to show you how I make my beautiful bean stew, okay? Check this out. See how beautiful it looks? That's exactly what I'm going to show you today. So if you're ready, let's get cooking! Let's go through the ingredients. Those are bell peppers, tomatoes, onion, garlic, that gizzard, two cans of sardine, soup bowl, coconut oil, slices of tomato, and slices of onion that I've done. And here are the seasoning, thyme, seasoning salt, crayfish, soup base, momone, paprika, and beans that I've, that I've soaked overnight, boiled, and ready to go. At this point, I'm putting the coconut oil in my preheated pan, as you can see. Then I'm gonna let it all melt. Takes a few seconds. And then I'm gonna put in my garlic, onion, and tomato that I've already sliced. Next, I'm going to add in the soup bone to cook it with the oil and the garlic and the tomato. It gives it a nice flavor and I, I like to do that because I didn't pre-boil the meat. So this is my chance to get it nice and tender, okay? Next is to add in the almighty momoni. Yes, momoni is bay when you make bean stew, okay? So I don't make my bean stew without my bay. Okay, guys, I love my bay. Okay, it doesn't smell good, but it sure makes your food delicious. Okay, so now I'm just cooking it, you know, getting it all nice and infused. And next, I'm just gonna throw in my seasoning. I love doing that, it gives it a nice aroma. Get all the seasoning mixed with the momoni, you know, you remember my bay? Yeah. Next is to add in the blended tomato, bell pepper, onion, garlic. Yes, I add it to my meat because remember it's soup bone so it's hard and I want it to be tender, nice, soft. So I cook it throughout the entire stew and by the time my stew is done, the meat is so tender and it's so flavorful because it's been cooking from the beginning and it's just amazing, try it, okay? Yes, I could have taken it out of the oil and pour it back later, but no, you don't need to do that, okay? So here it is, that's it, we're covering. As you can see, it's coming along beautifully. Look at it. The liquid has started to evaporate and now you can see the oil forming. So we'll get it there. Look at this beauty, guys. It smells amazing. You need to be in the kitchen, okay? Guys, if you've watched it up to this point, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, okay? And I'm going to pause for a few minutes while you go subscribe if you haven't done so already. Help me out, and I really appreciate that. 
at this point i'm taking some stew and putting it on the side because i don't want it too stewy so i put some on the side and i add in as needed add in now beans and that will be pretty much it once the beet remember the beans has been cooked so it's nice and soft so we're just going to let it simmer down so the flavor of the stew will infuse into the beans and before long we're ready to enjoy our bean stew i left some beans on the side so now what i'm doing is i'm mashing it to add it to the stew so it gives it that um, mushy kind of look Okay, so that's what I just did. Yay, it's almost done. So the last thing that I'm gonna add to this too is our sardines. And once the sardines are in, it is done, 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 period, okay? I just cover it, let it simmer for like five minutes or so. Then it was done, done, done. So I transfer it into a beautiful bowl and I garnish it with bell peppers, okay? Red bell peppers and some parsley. Look at how beautiful that looks. So appetizing and so beautiful. Look at it. We decided to eat it with rice. You could eat it with fried plantain, bayere, plantain, gari endless oh as usual i eat it sometimes by itself it's so filling okay i kid you not so i'm putting more of the parsley on top to make it even more beautiful and we were ready to eat this is so amazing and i made it so presentable for my family guys always remember you don't have to wait for special occasions or special guests to do beautiful things for your family. Try and make everyday eating so beautiful, okay? Your family deserves the best. So don't wait for like guests, okay? That is so old fashioned. And this mama here is not about that. I'm all about my family and they come first, okay? So go out, make it beautiful, and let them enjoy. Here's one last look of this delicious and gorgeous looking plate of food guys thank you so much for joining me it was a pleasure cooking with you i appreciate your love i appreciate your support please don't forget to share like and come back guys come back and let me know what you like the decoration diy cooking let your girl know and i'll be more than happy to deliver thank you so much and until next time smile see miracles in life every day thank you again and i'll see you again soon bye